So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or are we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Mr. Carman, I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Calculating route. You have arrived. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Calculating route. A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Packy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me.
Don't cross the line, Strafe. All right, boys, let's go inside and find this money. Kids, I got the kids! Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. Can you drive a boat? You got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Reviving the Ancelotti's don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your share. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky.
Take me to Iron Street. Sure thing. We'll be there in no time. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Here we are. Thank you. Look, I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> and, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellic, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey, welcome to America. Pascal Stara Dejava. Bushka.
please proceed to highlighted route. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? Oh, yeah. What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Все, он меня дожидался. 
Пока, братан.
What's going on? Yeah. I got a bit of a problem. A bit of a big fucking problem. What's going on? Yeah. Jeff really did it this time. Jeff went too far. Jeff's been a bad boy. A really bad boy. What are you saying, lunatic? Remember my wife, Shirley? She had an accident in the kitchen. What kind of an accident? Oh, the kind of accident where you stab yourself 50 fucking times with a kitchen knife? You fucking whore. Fuck my friend, will you? Huh? Well, who's laughing now, bitch? Huh? Not you, you fucking dead whore! Hey, buddy. Whoa, calm down! Hey, fuck you! Don't be an idiot. Now, what do you want me to do? Get rid of her and get rid of the car, hey? Huh? Okay, but it's going to cost you. Five grand. Sure, whatever. Give me the keys. Put the gun away. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, Jeff really messed up this time, didn't he? Oh. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Nicky. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. Where can I take I you? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Good as gold. This is it. That's uh, very kind of you. Take me to Irons. 
Let's do it. Here we are. Thanks. Come in, Nico. Aye. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now, get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go! Hello, you're through to the Liberty City Emergency Services. Please use your touch-tone keypad to select which specific service you require. Press 1 for police, press 2 for paramedics. Hello, this is the LCPD. Where would you like us to send an officer? Uh, the Triangle. An LCPD peacekeeper will be there as soon as possible, sir.
I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Exposure them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon. serve your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye.